I finally did it. I enabled this. I, I set it up and I actually did a bunch of stuff and I'll show you it all in this video. Uh, okay, let's get started. Uh, let's plug the um, 02W in and I'll show you what I did. Okay, so um, I'm going to switch to my computer screen so you can actually see now. Um, I set up a server so I can actually see what's happening on the computer screen. And here we go. Um, let's go full screen. And here we go. Yeah, you can see. Oh, I have to blur that. As you can see, I'm on my Pi right now. Um, and I'm not connected to like an HDMI input or anything. I'm actually I'm just on Windows on a server right now. Obviously, it has a bit of latency, but it's pretty cool. You can write stuff now. Now I don't need an external like computer and stuff. We have all of this stuff. Uh, we actually have Scratch on this thing. If you didn't know. Like, which is crazy. Like, I didn't even know Scratch would come pre-installed. There's also apparently something called Scratch 3. Right here. I tried to open it, and it almost crashed the thing. So I'm not gonna try that. But, like, see, look how cool this is. Like, I can just code on Scratch. On the Raspberry Pi. If it doesn't, like, lag. Oh my gosh. I mean, it just powered up, so it's gonna lag for a second. Updates are available. I really have to update this thing. Um, I'll update it later. Okay. So. I actually did one more thing. I actually did something really cool too. I set up a web server on this thing. Right here. And see, I actually code this by myself in H... Um, not HTTP, PPS, whatever. JavaScript. So, like, see, you can view my projects and stuff. Go over here. Detective's Edge, which is one of my games. Dungeon Crawler, which is another one of my games. And, I mean, it fully works on, um... When the when the Pi is running, it's actually it's running this website right now. I made it so whenever the Pi turns on, it runs this website. It's an Apache 2 website, and it's pretty cool. As you can see, it's just it's insane what you can do with this tiny $15 computer. I don't know if I'm ever gonna make a tutorial on it, but I mean it's pretty cool. Like I like this thing a lot. Let's up let's download some updates. Okay, after download these updates, let's see how long this takes. Okay, it's done. That actually didn't take as long as I suspected. This is one of my favorite features of this device so far. So, I actually made it. So, on my phone, I downloaded the, um, the web server app on my phone. And I can actually use my Raspberry Pi on my phone, which is insane. And it fully works. Like, watch. Hold on. Like, I can move the mouse. Uh, hold on. I actually just opened two of the terminals by accident. So, like, I can see the temperature. Can you see that better? Uh, you probably can't. Oh, there we go. You can see that pretty good. You can see that. Uh, we have Mew. We can code in Mew. Hold on, let me open this up. It's gonna take a second to load. Yeah, as you can see, I'm just... Blah, 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 blah. And I'm in it right now. We got the calendar. And I mean, yeah, it's really cool. And I can remotely shut it down if I really want to. And I mean, yeah, so like, as you can see, shut down. So, as you can see from this little demonstration video, the Pi is a fantastic device. Even the 02W, since it has so many capabilities, it's like insane for only $15. It has Bluetooth, Wi Fi, its own core processing unit, it has an operating system straight on S um, micro SD. You can even connect it to a server, you can check, check its temperature, you can run a web server like I'm doing, or like I was just doing. And yeah, I mean, it's overall really cool. Like, this is insane. Like, you run web servers on this tiny $15 computer is insane. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, um, do whatever you want to do, and I'll see you guys later. Peace! Blurry!